Good evening. It was the third day of protests in the Twin Cities since the election. Uh, today, hundreds of high school students demonstrated against President-elect Donald Trump. The students walked out of their classrooms around 2 o'clock this afternoon from various Minneapolis high schools. From Sky 4, you could see them march through the streets, finally uh, gathering downtown near U.S. Bank Stadium. In addition to that, in a dump Trump chant, the students also chanted, We are united. After splitting into a couple smaller groups, they walked along the streets of downtown Minneapolis. For the past couple of days, a few Twin City schools have been dealing with racist messages. On Wednesday, a hate message was written in a locker room at Maple Grove High School. Yesterday, racist graffiti was also found in a girls' bathroom at Spring Lake Park High School. The graffiti used the N word and another derogatory term with the message, Go back to your home. But since that message was found, students have taken a stand, and John Lordson was at Spring Lake Park today. So, John, what did you see? Well, Amelia, just like at Maple Grove, students wanted to send a message to whoever wrote that on the wall in the girls' bathroom. So just after lunchtime today, Spring Lake Park High School chose hate healing over hate. A typical school day at Spring Lake Park is full of schedules and classes. But this afternoon, it was the students who were giving the lessons, teaching each other that any kind of hate is not welcome. The fact that we're coming all together to do this kind of shows that like people who um, agree with the hurtful comments that it's not right. It's really sad that in today in Minnesota in the United States that we can still experience discrimination and harassment like that. It was a racist message left in the girls bathroom that led to more than 300 messages left in the rotunda and in front of the school. Messages promoting love, healing, and equality. I'm a senior. I don't want to graduate hating the other people in my class, you know. I want to love them and I want all of them to love me and just be equal, you know. Iselina George organized today's rally. She says she was disgusted this happened in her school and saw an opportunity to bring change. I'm very proud of it. I'm so happy that all the kids are coming together. And yes, there's still going to be negative thoughts and all the bad things are still going to happen, but with all the positivity and everyone like loving each other and showing that they're like one is just awesome to me. The movement was student driven, but they weren't the only ones getting something out of today. I've witnessed a ton of great things happen, but I have to say this is one of the more exceptional ones that have happened with truly everybody coming together. Principal Stevenson said the incident is being investigated by both the school and Spring Lake Park Police. She said criminal charges are possible, Amelia. And John, unfortunately, I understand the University of St. Thomas is also going through this. Yeah, they also held a rally after racist graffiti was found on a sidewalk at the university. We've seen these things happening, but we've also seen some really positive things kind of come from what you saw yes. here at Spring Lake Park, Maple Grove mm -hmm. as well, and also the University of St. Thomas. All right. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm.